Picture this, you're sipping a warm cup of tea, basking in its comforting aroma. But have you ever considered that tea contains caffeine? Let's explore why that is. Tea leaves naturally contain caffeine as a defense mechanism against pests. Caffeine actually acts as a natural insecticide, protecting the plant. But fear not tea lovers. The caffeine in tea is far less potent than that found in coffee. Now, let's delve into the caffeine content of various types of tea. We'll start with the beloved black tea. A typical 250 ml teacup contains approximately 40 to 70 mg of caffeine. Black tea undergoes a thorough oxidation process, giving it a robust flavor and higher caffeine content. So, if you prefer a bolder flavor, black tea might be your go-to option. Moving on to green tea, which is renowned for its health benefits. A cup of green tea usually holds 20 to 45 mg of caffeine, making it a milder choice compared to black tea. Green tea is rich in antioxidants and has a fresh, grassy taste. It's a perfect pick-me-up for those seeking a gentle boost. Next up, we have oolong tea, a traditional Chinese tea with a unique flavor profile. Oolong tea contains roughly 30 to 50 mg of caffeine per cup. It sits in the middle ground between black and green tea when it comes to both taste and caffeine content. Some oolong teas have fruity or floral notes, while others have a more earthy and roasted character. Let's not forget about white tea, known for its delicate taste. This tea variety has the least caffeine among its counterparts, with around 15 to 30 mg per cup. White tea is made from young tea leaves and buds, carefully plucked and minimally processed to retain their natural flavors. So, if you're looking for a mellow tea experience, white tea is the way to go. We often compare the caffeine content in tea to its more robust cousin, coffee. On average, a cup of coffee contains approximately 95 mg of caffeine. So, if you're concerned about your caffeine intake, tea might be a more moderate option for you. It's important to note that the caffeine in tea is accompanied by other compounds that can provide a different experience compared to coffee. Now, let's address the big question, is the caffeine in tea bad for you? Well, it depends. Caffeine can have both positive and negative effects, depending on your individual tolerance and consumption. In moderation, caffeine can provide a gentle energy boost and even enhance mental focus. However, excessive intake may lead to restlessness or sleep disturbances. It's always essential to listen to your body and be mindful of your caffeine intake. Should we be as cautious with tea's caffeine as we are with coffee? The answer is subjective. If you're sensitive to caffeine or have certain health conditions, it's always wise to consult your healthcare provider. They can provide personalized advice based on your situation. Otherwise, enjoying tea in moderation should be perfectly safe for most people. The key is to find the right balance that suits your preferences and lifestyle. And that concludes our deep dive into the world of caffeine content in tea. Remember, the caffeine levels vary among tea types, with black tea packing a little more punch than green, oolong, and white tea. So, choose the tea that suits your preferences and your caffeine needs. As always, thank you for joining us on 5 o'clock tea. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tea-related content. Until next time, sip your favorite tea and savor every moment. Cheers!